Welcome back to the channel. This is Frankens, and we, of course, are going to do a deck profile on Eraser Head 1. So, before the game begins, add up to one copy of Erase from your deck to your discard pile, and then shuffle your deck. We'll get into Erase in a sec. And then, as you're in hands, and this can be used as many times as you need to in a turn, once per attack. Uh, discard one card, this attack gets plus two or minus two speed, add one copy of a race from your discard pile to your hand. So you start with it in your discard pile, and then you can use this ability, discard whatever card in your hand and get an erase back, and then you can keep looping that erase with this enhance on every single attack. Sounds pretty good. We of course are playing the void symbol by the way. Uh, and then response commit after you play or block with an action, draw two cards. Now, we're actually only playing four actions in here at the moment. We should probably be playing more, but I'll explain why we're only playing four. The first thing is with a seven hand and 19 health, if we're playing a small enough deck, I mean, we should see plenty of attacks, right? But the thing is that you have access to a race straight away. A race, of course, being a two cost, five check, breaker one, mid block for one. And it has this lovely little enhance, which is to remove it and then seal one rival asset or foundation. You'll use that maybe in the later game when you have more copies of a race in your discard pile. But this is what we want to look at here is the eraser head response. After an attack is played, your rival cannot play abilities on their character during this attack. Discard this card from your card pool. Not always going to be relevant, but uh, generally most of the time is going to be pretty relevant. We, of course, are playing four copies of a race. I did think about going down to three because you don't really need four, but it's just too good a mid block to pass up. Moving on to your first attacks. So here's the thing with this. Because your attacks are all based around combo, we are trying to, as much as we can, kind of layer them with like ones, twos, and threes. So you've got a beginning, a middle, and an end attack. Easily explainable, let me just get there. We are running four copies of Binding Shoulder Rush, two mid block, yeah, that's fine. Four speed mid attack for six damage. Really good damage. Cost five, only checks for a three. As you can see down here, it is a slam weapon and it has combo attack. Combo enhance ready one foundation that's not been ready this combat phase. Generally speaking, this is probably going to be your first attack, and you're not going to worry about the combo at all. You may do, but, you know, the enhance is where we want to look at. Enhance, the next combo attack you try to play, gets minus one difficulty. That is uh, really super, because it means that your next check is basically going to ignore progressive. Okay, up next is four copies of Binding Cloth Whiplash. Look at that. The odd one out. The one that I couldn't get in exile. I am so sad. This costs four. It's a two mid. It is a two speed low attack for five. So it's going to be pretty easy for your opponent to block. But that's fine. Checks for three like most attacks. This is a fury weapon combo off combo. The combo enhance. This attack does not count towards your progressive difficulty for the rest of this turn which pretty much just makes it a, uh, a two attack, I guess you could say, in the chain. Um, but I mean, you can play it as a one as well, just because it costs so little. You know, it only costs four. Next up, we have four copies of good old Binding Cloth Assault. This is a four cost, two mid block, three mid speed attack for five. This is Fury Weapon, combo off a weapon. You'll notice everything in here is a weapon. Anyway, this is the most important part. Combo enhance, discard a card to draw two cards. The problem with a razor head is that he doesn't draw a whole lot of cards. So you need cards like this to help you to replenish your hand, to get cards back, all that sort of stuff. Now, the enhance is great. If you've played an action this turn, this attack gets plus two speed. If you're gonna block it, you're gonna block it. That's fine. Next up, we have two copies of Total Erasure Binding. 
Now, these come from the starter deck, and they're only one per starter deck. I didn't feel like I would play more than three of these, to be honest. Two of these should be fine. So it is a four cost attack. It's also a one mid. It's a four high attack, four speed high attack for five. And as you can see down here, it is powerful three weapon and combos off weapon combo. So this is probably going to be your third in a chain if you want to use the combo enhance. So seal three rival foundations and make sure that they can't actually use them against you, which is great. They can still tap them though. But enhance, your rival cannot play abilities on their character during this turn. So, it's a chance here that you might want to use this as your first attack. Just rather than trying to uh, erase them. Next up, we have three copies of Binding Cloth Capture. So, this is a five cost low attack with a speed of four and damage of five. It blocks on a one high. As you can see here, checks for three like all the other ones. Weapon, combo, combo. If you've played an action this turn, this attack, or this card, gets minus two difficulty. That is fantastic. That really is just the best when you're playing this as an attack. It has combo enhance. If you've played an action this turn, your rival discards a card. Again, really good for trying to just clear out your opponent's hand and push damage. The Enhanced Seal 1 Rival Foundation. Just a really good solid attack, to be honest. Then we have my favorite set 3 attack. Oh, baby. Blood Moon Rending. Four copies of Blood Moon Rending. Cost 4. Is a 3 speed mid attack for 4. On a block, it is a 1 low block. Checks for 3 like all the rest. Weapon. Combo. Attack. Weapon. So this should really be your third card. Has combo enhanced, discard one card. Your rival reveals their hand, choose one card revealed this way and remove it. So it'll remove a card from the game. And then you can enhance, remove two weapon cards from your discard pile. This attack gets plus three damage. So you can effectively remove their mid block and make this into a seven damage mid attack. Now under the foundations, we want to make sure that we can spam out foundations because we are playing uh, a 58 card deck at this point. We've got four copies of the brand new Easily Excited. So response, once per turn. After an attack is played, it gets plus one speed and gains taunt if it doesn't already have taunt. So this is just to make your attacks just a little bit more speedy. So it's actually harder to block. Because we have all of those mid blocks, we of course have tape so that we can make your opponent's attacks into mid attacks so that we can block them out. Three copies of Manly Passionate Guide. That's just so that if we do block with a foundation, we can build it so that we're not losing it. Then we have three copies of Mediator. Enhance, destroy. Your rival's attack gets minus three speed. If you've played an action card this turn, you draw a card. Really, really super good because you get to draw the card. And we've probably already played the erase anyway, so that we actually do get to draw the card. Now, I think that we need to up this to four, but currently we're running two copies of Binding Cloth Mastery. This is one of the only cards that checks lower than we want. That's why we're only running two at the moment, other than attacks, of course. This is, of course, a weapon as well, which is great. Enhance flip on foundation. This attack gets minus one damage. Yeah, it's fine on throws and stuff, I guess. But enhance commit. The next attack you try to play has binding in its name. It gets minus two difficulty. So it actually makes our combos easier, makes our attacks easier to flow, which is fantastic and exactly what we're looking for. Next, we have three copies of Late Riser. Response, after this card is discarded from your hand during the enhanced step, this attack gets plus one or minus two speed. You are playing some stuff that allows you to discard cards, remember, so this actually is a really great card. Enhance, if you've played a combo ability this enhanced step, your attack gets plus one damage. 
giving your attacks extra damage. That's that's where this deck needs help. Absolutely. Three copies of Heroic Lineage. So, response. Commit after your rival's attack receives a damage boost, it gets minus three speed. Response. Commit after your attack receives a speed boost, it gets plus two damage. Again, giving yourself a little bit of speed with something like Easily Excited is fantastic because then you can give it plus two damage. Two copies of Nightwatch. This is, of course, unique, so we don't really want to play more than two copies. Response, remove. Remove one action card from your discard pile. After arrival, plays a non-character enhance, cancel it. Has a deadlock, which is uh, pretty good, which is to flip and add one combo attack from your card pool to your hand. Uh, our meta here in Australia at the moment, not many people are actually going into deadlock. Sadly for me, but uh, everyone's very cautious. Very cautious. Three copies of the villains defeated. Flip. After you discard any number of cards due to your rival's effect, draw one card, playable while committed. And response flip. After your rival's blocked attack resolves, remove it and gain two health. Really important with such a low health pull at 19, that you have ways to like claw back some of that health. We have two copies of Unexpected Hero. So, response commit. After your rival discards a card during the combat phase, draw a card. Again, drawing cards is good. And enhance. Flip this. The attack gets minus three speed and plus three damage. And finally, we have two copies of Prone to Dry Eyes. I actually feel like I might get more of these because they're really good. So, once per turn, after this card is committed due to your rival's effect, Ready to face down foundations play while committed. Enhance, discard a card. Your attacks get plus one damage for the rest of the turn. We can just try and peel out damage basically and kill our opponents. This is a slightly slimmed down and more aggressive version of this deck that I was running. I'm not going to show you the sideboard because it's not ready yet. But um, we ran into some issues where I was getting people down to between five and one life and not being able to kill them made top eight in the provisional. So now that the deck is slimmed down somewhat, hopefully we can push through that extra damage, that we're slimmer, we can get to our attacks easier, and uh, smash out some face. So this is just one of the decks I'm testing for nationals at the moment, and uh, we will see how it goes. I hope you've enjoyed this deck profile. I'm Frankens, thanks for hanging out.